This morning, I'm here at the Mosquito Lagoon, and we're gonna be fishing on the flats for redfish, trout, and black drum. And we're here with Captain Jamie, Captain Alex, and Corey from Duck Crackers. You guys ready to catch some fish? Oh yeah. oh yeah. What are our chances, man? Is it good? Oh, absolutely. We don't go home skunked. I like the hat, man. It's really <laughs> nice. I'm gonna take us and I'm gonna get on the push pole because the water's getting real shallow and I wanna sneak up on these fish that are gonna be laying on this shoreline. So I'm gonna take this pole and get up on the pole pulling platform. There was a fish tailing, did you see it? Yeah, I saw one tail. Switch it up and I'd be I'd be going to the uh wait a minute. No, just keep doing your thing. I am but I'm watching them. How fast? Do you want me to reel this in? Just a, a steady retrieval. I know a steady could have different oh, variables. Bald eagle stealing the bait. Is this a bald eagle? Yeah. I think. Wait, is that a bald eagle? Nah. It looks the big black one underneath it. That's a big wingspan right there. Is it a frigate? Might be a frigate. What's the best bait for this kind of conditions? Uh, jigs and jerk baits. Nice. Yeah. Soft plastic lures. So there's a lot of weeds up in here. So right now we're going to be using jerk baits, weedless. So try to limit the you know the weeds collecting on the lure. We got some fish working to our one o'clock right over here. I can see it tailing again. Hang on. We're way away from it, so. Will I'm gonna stop, keep. Will you try, stop sighting catfish and put me on a redfish? <laughs> Corey. Dude, I, I didn't even see him. Jeez. It's not a cobia, Corey. Well, you can't hey, just hit him in the head. If, if we're seeing fish, do not cast on it unless you see it. Don't cast unless you see That's it. That's a good rule. That's a great rule. I like that rule. All right, so when you cast at the school, you don't want to land right on top of them because then you're just going to spook the fish. You want to cast out to the sides or past them and work the lure to them. You never want to land directly on top of the school because then they're just going to spook and then you blew your chance. The smarter the fish, the closer they come to the boat. It's the truth. I don't care what anyone says. Look, look how close dolphins come. They don't care. <laughs> look how close sharks come. We just moved to a new spot. The other spot was pretty good. There was a lot of bait around and we saw some tails, but the fish weren't biting. So we're gonna try this new spot right now, different lures and see if we can get one. All right, so the fish are in the water and- uh... <laughs> You want your lure in the water too. Okay. <laughs> It makes sense now. It makes that's so. That's, <laughs> that's how you fish, people. The fish. Hey, when you see a turtle, the fish are in the when water. You see the turtle, you cast past the turtle. Oh my gosh, you got a fish, dude. What, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I think it's a sea. Yeah, it might be a sea trout or a small red. I think it's a red. Jamie with the first fish of the day. It's a catfish. Small little red. red. It's a little red fish. Yeah. Oh, a little multi spotter. Those are beautiful spots, man. Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wow, eight. look at that. There's even more on the other yeah. side. Plenty more to be caught. Plenty more to be caught? Yeah, All right, absolutely. well, let's let him go and yep. let's see if someone else can catch something. It's been a really slow bite where we've been grinding out and it's really cold. It's actually really cold. Corey, I don't know if you can see him up there, he's freezing, seven out of 10 and cold. <laughs> but um, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna push through this because I got a good feeling we're gonna get into some big redfish. Nice. Catfish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you? Well, hey, artificial? hey. I got one on the spoon. There we go. All right. Well, hit the power pole. Captain Alex, what do you got? Oh, nice red, it's red, bro. red fish. It's a nice one, man. Got him, man. On the catfish. You got a red fish and a catfish. Caught him on the mullet spoon. On the mullet spoon. Spoon. Now, what's more impressive, the redfish or the catfish? Well, you know, the catfish. <laughs> we, we first, what we had to do was we had, we had to catch first the catfish. We had to catch the catfish first to get it away from the the bait from the redfish, so the redfish had a chance to eat. You know, so it was really important to catch that. It catfish. was very important for us to hook that catfish on artificial. Hey, just, Josh, you want your you want your catfish back? <laughs> Here, I'll hold the red up right here. Look at that beautiful redfish and that beautiful catfish, man. That is amazing. <laughs> what do you
What do you like more, the red or the captain? You guys comment below. <laughs> Tell us what you like more. Decisions. You know, there's a more abundance of catfish, so you can always catch these. You know, when it gets tough, I'd probably choose the kitty. There or you have it. Like. The let's kitty let, wins. Let's let him go. <laughs> Where's the dang hook extractor for this thing? I don't want to get stung. Slide your fingers down. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. You gotta watch out for the trifecta here. The spoon got it done, huh? That's amazing. Goliath bait right there. We got a fish on. Looks like a pretty good one. What do you think it is? I think it's a redfish. Oh man, here we go. Come on, baby, come on. Oh, nice redfish. Watch, it's powerful. Yep. Making you dance. <laughs> Dude, that's a big one, man. Oh, he's running. He's dogging me. Some light tackle, too. Oh. That's an overshot. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one, dude. Giant, man. Biggest reference of the day so far. All right, here we go. Man, he's dogging me. All right, here he comes. Here. About a 30 inch fish. Look at that, guys. It doesn't look like the artificials are working very good today. It seems like we, we, switched, we just switched to cut bait. Yep. And that's working a lot better for us. Yep. The, this morning, you know, we caught a couple fish on artificial, and then it just, we we're covering too much shoreline, too much area for what we were producing. So we switched to the cut bait, and within, I say, not even five minutes, we just had that 30 inch red on. That's insane, dude. You just gotta change it up sometimes. You can't, uh, you can't be hard headed out here. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you you know, sometimes if, you, you're, if you're on a mission just to only do artificial, okay. But if you're out here to have a good time, catch some fish and then go home, I mean, you know. You gotta change it up. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You gotta have bait, bait, you gotta have lures. lures, you gotta have everything. Yep. Come on, leave me alone. Coral. Dude, I'm finding a fish. Can I call you back? Dude, I'm gonna red. Sounds good, yep. Alright, this is a red. Alright, dude, another red fish, guys. A little bit smaller. Yeah, a little smaller. He's nice. Take him. Yeah, lower, Five, lower in. It's a little red fish, Mosquito Lagoon. Red drum. Let's let him go. All right, so that's uh, that's that's four, right? Four red so far. Corey, you're up, dude. You gotta get a red now. Look, look, look at the intensity in his face. <laughs> Nothing but He's focus over here. Determined, determined <laughs> to catch a red fish. Nice little mosquito lagoon red. That's how you get him in right there, boys. Old lady fish does the trick. It's a chilly day up here in the mosquito lagoon, but we're catching them, and that's what counts. Let's let them go. There you go, man. Nice, dude. Here, here. There we go. That's a solid fish. Yeah, look at the camera. Oh, yeah. Back to dragon. Oh, there he is. Look at the right side of the boat. Oh, my gosh, he's going nuts. He's going nuts. There he is. Dude, he fought hard for his size. Look at that redfish, guys. He's got some parasites on him, too. Look at that. He's got little cool paws on him. That's something good. Kicks off. We've got, that's number six. So. I want to get one more, then we can fish our trout. Yeah, we're going to get one more red, and then we're going to fish for trout, and then we're going to try to end the day. The Big maybe here with a giant redfish. Turn this on. Corey's hooked up, guys. Giant. This was the mullet. That was the mullet? Yeah, I he, told you, you he's, he on sucked mullet. this one, he sucked this mullet up. What's your personal yeah, this, best? This, this might be my PB. My, oh, my, my PB is about 36. Uh, he's not that big. He's 32. Don't crush his dreams, bro. It's okay. I'll worry about that. There we go. There we go. Is that what you came up here for? Yeah, now it's he looked bigger. Net. He looked bigger when he was uh, pulling. He fought hard, man. Pulling, uh, pushing wake on the top. All right, we got him in. Dude, that's a, that's, that's that. a beautiful fish, man. Beautiful mosquito lagoon redfish. All lit up. Look at that blue tail. When you hold your fish out of the water and you're taking pictures, it's all good, but you want to make sure they swim away strong, just like that. Oh We've caught seven redfish so far. I think Corey has the biggest one. We're now on the way to go fish for trout. 
We tried fishing for trout, they really weren't biting, so we decided to move to our last spot of the day, which is known for giant redfish. Yes, dude, look at that, bro. This is, this is Corey, you got one, dude. This giant is, redfish. And oh this was God. all because of the Alex Huey? Told you, this, this is, is all you, bro, right? all you. Oh, Alex, last minute. Let's oh, try my it. gosh, guys, look at that, look at that. We're gonna have to chase them It's a giant, giant. Do we? Dude, this is the biggest redfish of your life right now, yeah. dude. All right, guys, we're here at the end of the day, and we have a massive redfish on, just a monster redfish, pulling out drag. How many other line do you think he's pulled out? A hundred, dude, a hundred, at least. A hundred easy. Start pumping him, dude, start pumping him. Hey, hey, if, if, have... if you feel it get on anything, you open the bail. Yeah, yeah. let him run. Uh, Remember, he's he on, on something. Is he on something? Yeah. Open the bail. Sure just open the bail, start up the engine out. Guys, the fish is hooked up on a branch or a rock, so we're gonna chase the fish down right now. It's hard to tell. Dude, your line is just sitting right here. It's yeah. not even moving. Is he stuck? Yeah, it's stuck on something. It's alright, maybe when we pop on the other side of it. He probably swam underneath something, dude. I That's can't tell if he's still there or not. He's just... I'm just keeping it tight. I'm slacking, nothing's swimming. Damn. You gotta be kidding me, man. All right, from now on, you hook the fish, you get on the troll, man. I usually chase them, but... I was feeling head shakes the entire time until we started moving. It's on now. We got, we got a fish on, fish on. Pop, 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 pop. Pop him, pop him, pop him. Thank you, don't, not too hard. Finally, we got that redemption. Thanks for the little chum dinger over there. The chum dinger. Push him right in. Uh, oh, he's running, guys. He's a running. Yeah, he's going right back to that corner. Uh, last time I did so oh, he's going, he's going. Oh come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Watch that anchor. Close right to it. Come up. I think you might have him up over it though. Come on. This is the last oh. fish. Dude, what just happened? Just pulled. That's it. Just pulled. Corey, what was that? Three in a row you've lost. Dude. Dude, you're gonna go to the black debate school no of way. pumping fish. He was 10 feet away from the, from the structure that I got us hung up on last time. You were right here. Look at this man, guys. This is the space disappointment right there. Oh. I can't even. Can't even comprehend it, can you? No. It was really disappointing to lose those two giants at the end. I really thought we had the last one. We did manage to catch over half a dozen redfish, which is a good day by my standards. If you want to go on a really cool trip in the Mesquite Lagoon, make sure you contact Captain Jamie and Captain Alex at Fin and Fly Charters. Links in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs, designed for you, created for the outdoors, and Sudacore Nutrition.